Hi, Kerry Grinkmeyer here at Best of Us Investors. Number one, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a businessman. I, I have, through my career, owned a number of businesses. The one I last retired from was that of a financial advisor for the Ameriprise system. I own one of the top three franchises for the last five years that I was in the business, and, and I sold it. Um, so I have, I have always managed my business, and I've always used the month of December to review what's happened over the prior year, to review where the business stands, and then use the month of December to organize what I want to do for the following year, to organize my people, to organize my thoughts, and to basically manage the business for the coming year. And that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I, I have two businesses, I basically feel. One is my investment portfolio that I manage on my YouTube channel. And then the second is my YouTube channel and the various sources of income that it generates. And I'm in the process right now of working with my team to reorganize where we're at decide where we want to go, how we're going to get there, and, and put it together. Well, I need to do the same thing for my portfolio. So what I do is basically look at what I own, how much of what I own is, what my all overall objectives are. And my objectives, I state very clearly, is that I want to own companies that are going to change the way I live. And I want to build a portfolio based on the events that are happening around me that are going to change the world that I live in. And so I pretty much focus on what I believe is a revolution in our medical industry, moving from medical care to medical cure, which then takes me to genome sequencing and genome editing, which also takes me the in, in, injection of artificial intelligence into medical science. I also believe that uh, we have a cybersecurity issue that we've got to take care of. We have a supply chain issue that we have to take care of. And then we have a metaverse that is going to change the internet that I live in. So I own stocks all based on those four uh, elements of where I think the world is going. Uh, I don't buy dividend stocks. I don't buy... Um, some of the stable blue chips of, of the industry. I don't really depend on the stock having a profit at this point. I'm looking for growth. So what I do in December is make a, take a list of all of my stocks, and I've just done that, and what my holdings are, and ask myself some basic questions on each one. Why do you own it? And what are, is its growth potential? And what do you believe it's going to do over the first quarter and the second quarter of this year? And then thus managing my expectations so that I don't get all hung up on big red days or a sequence of three or four red days in a row. I don't panic because I understand why I own what I own and what I expect of it in a period of time, and thus I can review it and make any changes in, in my plans. So that's what I do. Now, this is not financial advice. This is just me sharing how I manage my portfolio. I've been doing this for a number of years. I've got some insights that maybe you don't have, and maybe I can help you. And that's what my goal is with this channel. Number one, to make good financial decisions for myself and to help you make good financial set decisions. To keep more of what I make by understanding the tax code. I'm going to do a video also this week because I'm going to capture some losses and I'm going to do some tax management relative to my portfolio. And then the number one goal is to build family wealth. For a long time, I have believed I was put on this earth for one reason and one reason only, and that is to make the world a better place and to make it a better place for those people who follow me, meaning my family. So I strive to build family wealth. And, and that wealth comes in the form of financial 
as well as knowledge. And I share my, my, uh, my knowledge with my family as much as they're willing to take, and that's part of my life. But I'm not a financial advisor at this time. I sold that business in 05 and left it to someone else. So let me get that out of the way, and then let me show you what I want to do and, with, and share my plan for the coming year. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, as I said, I create a business plan and I've created a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. I love Excel spreadsheets that, that gives, puts me in focus. I believe success is, is only achieved if you focus, but you gotta know what you're focusing on. And in this part of my life, it's my portfolio. So I'm, I've created a spreadsheet that uh, shows everything that I own as of today and what my expectations for that are in the future. So let's take a look at that spreadsheet. Okay, this is how I manage my portfolio. I've created this spreadsheet that you see here. And what it does is it lists each stock that I own, the number of shares I own, and the price that I took from today's trading. And then I give you the market value of each stock. The next thing I did is I asked myself the question, why do I own this stock? And as you can see, the first stock I own, AADI, I couldn't answer the question. I don't know why I own it. I know it's a medical stock, but I bought it some time ago and I haven't revisited it uh, lately. So I don't know why I own it. Then I put, go to the stock and I say, what is my growth rating? All of my stocks are owned for one reason and one reason only, growth. I don't invest for dividends. I, I don't invest for security. I invest for growth. Uh, remember, my theory on investing is to buy those stocks who are going to change the way I live. And I focus on biotech, uh, cybersecurity, um, bringing the supply chain back to the United States, big tech, and in big tech, I'm now including um, the metaverse. So then I go and I say, what is my anticipation of growth and give it a one to 10 rating. The first stock you see there that I've graded is, is Apple. I have all the confidence in the world that Apple is going to continue to grow and it's going to be one of the major players in the stock market for probably as long as I live. I then come to ABCL, that's Abcelera. It's a pharma growth company and I give it an eight because we are, we are, we're, we're punished with uh, uh, now the future of, um, of bio, Warf not biowarfare, I guess we're just fighting the world or fighting the bacteria of the world. And it's gonna be a part of our life as long as I live and probably in the future. And uh, ABCL is using artificial intelligence to help pharmaceutical companies f uh, find the therapies and the antibodies that are gonna keep us healthy. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, a AMD in the semi-growth, semiconductor growth area, again, eight. And so you can see, I go through each stock and I give it a growth rating. I then want to take that growth rating, interpret it into a value projection. And that is to say, based upon what I know today and what I project is going to happen in the first quarter of next year, what do I think my holdings are going to be worth on April 2022 based on the knowledge that I have? And, and as you see, I'm not sure about uh, AADI, so I'm showing no growth. I'm probably going to sell AADI in the very near future, but let's look at um, Apple to give you an example. As a 10, I believe I'm going to get a 5% growth in the first quarter of next year. So I have multiplied this number, its current value, times 1.05, and I come up with this of $110,899 go through that and do that on each stock that, that I have. Here you can see I put a 3% growth factor on Abcelera. And I go down and do that 
And as you can see, I'm projecting an 11% growth in my portfolio over the first quarter of last year. Well, how did that happen? Well, you come down here to one stock, and that is um, Netlist. And it is a, a growth, it is a technology stock, and it is basically involved in a lawsuit with, um, with, with Google. And it's a patent infringement lawsuit. And I'm projecting that, uh, the, well, we know that the court is going to settle this case sometime, we believe, in the first quarter of next year. So I am giving Netlist a 4X factor. I believe that the price is going to go from where it is now at about $7 a share to $28 a share in, in the first quarter. And that's what, that's what gives me this 11% growth in the first quarter of the year. I then believe that Netlist will, will continue to grow, but more at a 5% rate, because I think at that point, big money is going to recognize what Netlist is and that it has another patent that is very important to the, uh, to the database companies, that is Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft, and, and Apple. And they're, they're going to be using a chip that, that uh, Netlist makes. So that's how I then project the growth in my portfolio. Well, what's nice about this is uh, I can monitor it on a monthly basis. So January the 1st, I'll come back and I'll say, Kerry, do you want to change any positions here? Probably before January 1st, I'm going to sell a couple of these stocks. As you can see, those that I have a question mark, I'm, I'm going to make a decision, yay or nay on it. Another one that's in here is BCRX. Uh, I have it a five rating. It's another pharma growth company. I bought it basically because uh, it's a local company here in Birmingham. I had talked to some of the people uh, and, and I know what they're doing and I like what they're doing, but I have to decide if it has the growth potential that some of my other stocks do. Now, the other I wanna focus on uh, just a bit here is my biotech. Uh, growth stocks, those that are wrapped up in genome sequencing and genome editing. I'm giving them a seven, and, and you'll can see in the first quarter, I'm not giving them an anticipation of any growth. I think this whole industry is uh, not yet discovered, not yet had the confidence of big money, uh, and until they do some um, studies that show that they are going to move forward. Uh, I don't see any growth in first quarter. Uh, there is so some potential for some additional pullback. I've been hit pretty hard, particularly in Editus. Um, I'm down about 40% on them. So uh, I, I don't, I, you'll, you'll see here, I don't project any losses. That's not realistic, but at the same time, maybe I'm underestimating some of the potential gains. But what I, my point is, I encourage you to do this for your portfolio. What it's going to do for me is help me get past those day, those big red days, those days that the portfolio is dropping, dropping in, in a sequence of days when it's dropping, in a, and, and it gives me something I can go back and anchor my projection on. I'm managing my portfolio the same way I, I manage my business. I create objectives, I create um, beliefs of what's going to happen, and then I record them so that I can come back at any time and make adjustments and, and manage the portfolio rather than having the portfolio manage me. Let's talk a little bit more about that. So that's how I'm managing that part of my business, my portfolio. Uh, it represents about 25% of, of my projected income uh, from next year. So I need to manage it, I need, and, and I need to focus on it. You need to do the same thing. Uh, if you don't know why you own a stock, then find out why and then create your expectations and then, then monitor them as I'm doing with that spreadsheet. Uh, and, and 
Will it change? Yeah, it'll change. Uh, I, w this time last year, I didn't know anything about the metaverse. Uh, I knew about the broken supply chain. Uh, I knew about cybersecurity. So some parts of it, and I certainly knew about uh, our medical system being broken, but I didn't know about the metaverse. Do I think something will show up um, in 2022 that is going to take a, my focus in another direction? Oh, certainly I do. The world is changing so rapidly that we can't just put blinders on and say, ah, uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'm only going to focus. Something is going to change and something may change that will take one of the areas that I'm focusing on and say, that's a mistake. You need to move somewhere else. But I, I have a multiple parts of my portfolio and I need to look at each one of them separately, set my expectations, put my goals together, and then manage it throughout the year, okay? Not on a daily basis. You start managing on a daily basis and, and reacting to daily activities uh, and you're going to go crazy. Uh, just like we, ha we have this new strand, this new, new virus coming out of Africa. It, that, that actually substantiated my uh, commitment to artificial intelligence being involved in pharma uh, and, and the searching for the proper drugs and pharmacies and therapies to take care of what's happening. So it only substantiated my commitment to AI and pharma. So I believe I have to pay attention. I watch the evening news every night, so I know what's top of mind. I watch CNBC every morning, so I know what's of top of mind of the people that I am literally competing with uh, to make money in the stock market. And then I read the Wall Street Journal every day to see what the overall market is thinking and to keep myself educated. And from those sources of information, I research deeper. I learn more so that I, I, I will never be the smartest guy in the room, but I'll expose myself to them so that I gain smarter. And then the other thing I believe so firmly in is I have to be reading a book every day of every month that is going to educate me in the field that I pursue. And, and so I, I subscribe to Audible. I have a list of books that I think are, are required reading for this uh, investment course that we're all pursuing. It's in the description. Uh, I run a Discord. Uh, we call it our tribe. And this is where I try to bring other people's minds together with my mind so that I, again, can make a better investment decision because I want to turn this into a team sport. Uh, I can't do this and expect to succeed on my own. I need input from other people, and I'd like to invite you to be one of those people and come to our Discord. All you have to do is go to bestofusinvestors.com. Uh, give me your name and your email address, and uh, I'll send you an invitation to our Discord. You can hang around in it for 30 days, and, and then on the first of the month, if you want to uh, pay to see the portfolio, to participate in our Zoom calls, you can do that. But I want to help you. That's why I'm here. And if you want my help, please come be a part of the Best of Us Investors Tribe. Talk to you again tomorrow.